everybody. Once again, I'm Carolyn with Norcross Madagascar and this is day three of our 12 days of Crystal Christmas part two. Had a little bit of technical difficulty earlier so thanks for putting up with that, you know, putting up with us while we got through that and joining us again. Today we are talking about one of our newer products as I said before. This is our rough on base. So many people want to collect natural stones, the true natural beauty of the stones. You can see how absolutely gorgeous these stones are. They're so pretty, and I'm sorry that Labradorite is maybe in the way so we can show like this one piece. We do have them in three sizes, and this is a really great way if you want to show the true beauty of the natural stone. This is a really great way to do it because it comes on a little base, and so it is a great display piece. And this is the large size. You can see how big it is. This is Indigo Gabbro and right next to it we have a large piece of chestnut jasper. So you can see if I like hold this in my hands, it is a really substantial piece. I think they probably weigh several pounds each. I mean, these are the large size and they are really, really nice and it's a great way, I mean, I love, if you see this piece of chestnut jasper, sorry Greg, I keep like messing <laughs> with you. I'm gonna move this a little bit out of the way so people can see the true gorgeous colors in this. You can see all the really great color variations. I say this all the time about Chestnut Jasper. It has some of the most gorgeous color variations. You would think, oh, it's Red Jasper, Chesper, ja Chestnut Jasper. How boring is that? When you see it, this is not boring at all. This is so pretty with the reds and the yellows and the golds. It's, it's gorgeous. And this is in its true natural beauty. Next to it, we have the Indigo Gabbro. These are the two large size ones that we have. And as I said, you can see they're pretty substantial. They weigh a few pounds each. The next size we have that I moved everything in front of to get out of the way of the large is going to be our medium sizes. Over here. <laughs> These are, I can put them like next to each other or in front of one another, doesn't matter. But this is a crystal quartz and this is one of our gorgeous blue appetite pieces. And you can see, once again, the true natural beauty of these stones. Whoops. So I just, I love the shapes. I love that these are the natural shapes of these rough stones. And so many people do appreciate the true natural beauty of the stone. And this is a great way. And these little stands, they're really stable. So, you know, just to put this anywhere, I always go to on your desk because my desk, I'm surprised it hasn't collapsed with 800 pounds of stones, but putting these anywhere, it's a really great statement piece. The pop of color in, in your decor is going to be something really amazing. The quartz, as I always say, if you have a, a area where the light comes through or something where you have different color backing with the quartzes and some of the more clear stones, you can play on that with the color or even put a light source behind it and light it up. That's going to look amazing. The last size we have is going to be our small. And we had some and then we were in there looking for a few others. I love this little piece of agate. It is so gorgeous. I love the banding in it. And you see that and it's more almost like a polished bit. And then if you turn it, you can see the natural backing on this and the natural outer shell of this stone. And that's what I truly love about these. I mean, you can see all the true natural beauty of these. The next one we have is Labradorite. I didn't bring my squirt bottle, so I'm gonna apologize. This is really crazy flashy, and I think you can see some of the flash in through here with that. Let's go back to the front. The front? Yeah, that's the size. It's, oh, yeah, see there that? we go. Nice and fiery. Wow, we don't even need to get this wet, and this has that much flash on it. Can you imagine this sitting somewhere near where you have a natural light source and the sun hitting that? and just catching that, oh wow, that is so pretty. I just, Labradorite is so cool. Um, next to it we have a cute little piece of amethyst. I don't know, yep, you can see it. And the banding on this amethyst, once again, is so pretty. I love these. Up front we have a large piece over here, I know poor Greg, he wasn't ready for this one. <laughs> this is why we, we put them in the 12 days of Crystal Christmas. 
This is a large piece of the quartz and then we have it and we're using it as a stocking holder because everybody's coming out that seems to be like one of the cool new products that people are showing a lot more because people typically a lot of people don't have mantles anymore so using this as a stocking holder I mean this is really really cool I think this is I mean I went out and bought some really what I thought were cool stocking holders last year and this year I'm switching them all because these are so cool and every member of your family can pick their favorite stone and not only can it be a present to them but it can hold more presents so it's kind of a win-win and then over on the other side we have some smaller ones again and we've just hung some cute little things on them so the bases are really sturdy and I don't want to I'm not sure I think I'm going to use this one to do it so you can see the bases the way they are I'm not sure if you can I'm trying to figure out where I am but they have a really nice rubber coating on them so they're pretty like when you put them on the table they're mm -hmm. not gonna mark up and that is one of the things you always have to take into consideration I have a lot of rough stones in my house I walk through here and it's like ooh, pretty and I take it home and I have this collection of rough stones and I also have a lot of antique wood furniture and really good wood, wood furniture that I've inherited or I've purchased over the years and putting a rough stone on it is not what you want to do so these are really 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 amazing presents and really great presentation if you will um i don't know if this is going to help at all <laughs> stephanie was nice enough to bring me some water that i'm squirting on myself as well because why not but see if that wow wow oh yeah that is just crazy I love Labradorite. This is so cool. And these are priced really, really reasonably. The three sizes, the small, medium, and large. The smalls are $12, the mediums are $17, and the larges are $20. Ooh, look what happens when you get that one wet. And I tell people too, it's like, you know, people are like, oh, how can we do this, you know, with, you know, you're wetting them down. What I suggest and what I've done with a lot of pieces, oh, this is going to probably be so pretty. Oh, wow. Oh, it got even prettier. This is amazing. Um, what I tell people is you can just get clear spray polish or, you know, a, a, a can of spray paint and spray a clear coat on it, like a top coat or a clear coat, a high gloss coat, and you can spray it on the stones. I've done it personally. We've got a lot of customers who do it. Or you can take mineral oil or baby oil and put that on your stones and it'll give it a gorgeous sheen. We recommend baby oil more than mineral oil because it's not as thick and it won't collect all the dust because you really don't want all the dust sticking to your pretty stones. Once again, these are our rough on bases. They come in the large, the medium, and the small sizes. They're priced between $12 and $20, so they're really economical, possibly the coolest stocking holder you will ever have. And if you want these or more information on these or to see other stones, we do have them in all the stones, give us a call, 520-882-8884, or shoot us an email at sales at madagascarminerals.com. We are open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 4.30, every uh, Monday through Friday. So we will get back to you during those hours. This is Friday, so day four of our 12 days of Crystal Christmas is going to happen on Monday. It's also day two of Hanukkah, so we do wish anybody out there celebrating that a blessed second day of Hanukkah. And we will see you over the weekend with our showpiece Saturday and scenic Sunday. If not, we'll see you Monday for our day four of 12 days of Crystal Christmas.